to the extent your broke friend doesn't like your biblical financial principle? Well, if broke people are making fun of your financial plan, you're on track. It's like fat people making fun of your diet, okay? Think about this. Unbelievable. So I started finding these things, and there's a lot. I mean, there's like 2,500 scriptures that deal with money and possessions. Our proper view of them, the proper spiritual indication, and the tactical, actual thing you do with money that God says. It was amazing. And it gave a guy who was in a puddle hope. I didn't have any. I mean, I was on one of these, I do all these uh, TV shows on Fox and CNN, Good Morning America and CBS and all these people, and they're real sweet people and all that. And one of those anchors, I was on there doing a thing with one of my books one time, and they said, okay, this is amazing. You started with nothing, you became a millionaire, you lost everything, and now you're a multimillionaire. How did you bounce back? I said, dude, when you fall that far, you really don't bounce. It's more of a splat. And so I was splatted, man. And we took these principles and everything I could learn about them and understand them from an academic viewpoint, a spiritual viewpoint, historical viewpoint, a socioeconomic viewpoint, a psychological viewpoint, an emotional viewpoint, a relational viewpoint. And I started to really understand how money works, not what your broke brother-in-law's theory is.